Hi, Vocal Athletes. My name is Shalonda Gibson. I'm a voice therapist and owner of the Speech and Voice Care Center of Houston. I help high-performing speakers tap into their voice print and maintain their vocal health as they are making impact and increasing their revenue. Here are three ways to warm up your voice before you begin speaking, get on that phone call, or take any meetings. This is best practice for vocal health. Here we go. Activate your voice muscles or your vocal cords by bringing your voice forward and balancing your airflow. What I like to tell my clients is your voice is energy and it's supported by your breath. You can do that with lip trills, tongue trills, or straw exercises. Here's what it looks like with a straw. Just splash myself. But I went from a low pitch to a high pitch, or you can do that with your lips or your tongue. Or go high to low. So low, high, low, or high, low, high. Or at a nice steady pitch. And if you struggle, you can relax your lips. That's one. Two, you will use tongue exercises or stretches for your neck, your shoulders, or your jaw. Tongue exercise. Just move my tongue around the inside of my mouth just to give it a little stretch. Activating those muscles helps you articulate your message more clearly. And you can lift your tongue up and down. Here's that. And then let's stretch the neck. I call this one the smiley face. So there's that. And then for your jaw. Because tight neck, lip, tongue muscles, those can impact your voice. All right. And then my favorite, of course, from Twisted Tuesday is a tongue twister. I'm not the pheasant plucker. I'm the pheasant plucker's mate. I'm only plucking pheasants because the pheasant plucker's late. Got it? Now, have fun warming up your voice. See you next time.